Jamie Sanchez, Senior Director of Ecosystems here at the ION. And innovation is an invitation to change the world, right? Everybody here today seeing the BattleBots, seeing Robotica, really the world is a better place because of the innovation that's happening today and it's happening here in this room. Uh, but we need a lot more in order to do that. My one question I want to start with is, where will you be in 2036? Think about it. 2036, you will be maybe uh, building a battle bot or you know, graduating college, something of that sort. 2036 is the 200th birth birthday of Texas. So at the 200th birthday of Texas, I think Texas will become the greatest innovation state in the world. Right now, we're seeing all of the Californian companies, all the New York companies relocating to Texas. And here at the ION, we have something for you guys to change the way you look at our city and our region as a whole. David? So Houston is atop the city of the future. Right now, we are seeing more tech talent flowing into our city than ever before. We have more engineering talent in our region than 10 cities combined in America. So what we're seeing that this Houston development, the future of Houston is really happening. Now in order to harness this, we need a lot of strategy. Strategy to create a innovation district that rivals the Silicon Valley, rivals what Austin has built in the last 20 years. Houston has this and it's through the ION and the ION district. So a few data points for you. We are number one in a lot of areas. You're, we are known for the energy uh, industry. We are known for our medical center and our world-class space center down at Johnson Space Center for human flight. But what else are we known for? You know, number one area for tech workers for non-tech companies. Now, there's a story that Amazon did not pick Houston in 2017 for their headquarters too, which was a gut punch for our city. But since then, we've seen tech workers flowing in to our non-tech companies like Chevron, like BakerBots, like Aramco, and all of our major, we have 24 Fortune 500 companies here, and each one of them are going through a digital transformation. So, so we need a place where ideas meet. So today, you might run into some of your friends, some of your colleagues, uh, some of your neighbors, and this is where ideas meet. This is where creativity breeds here at Comic Palooza, here at Robotica in 2022. Density is the key to innovation. And so we need a flagship location here in Houston that you can do this on a daily basis. Imagine going to a spot here in our region where no idea is too big, no idea is too small, no question is wrong. And that's what the Ion District's all about. So we are number two in business expansion. We have the number one university and affiliated think tank, Rice University, and they have put up over $120 million of their own money in order to create this innovation district called the Ion District. So every place needs a better way to begin. This rendering right here is where the old Sears is in Midtown. Does anybody, uh, some of you shopped at Sears, right? Yeah. You remember Sears? It went bankrupt in 2017. You know what else happened in 2017? Astros won the World Series, woo! Hurricane Harvey hit, not so woo. And Amazon passed this up on the HQ2 list. And so this idea of the Ion District has created a new home for innovation in Houston. This Ion District will be 16 acres. It will be 12 city blocks street level, an urban landscape for connection and collaboration. So if you're in elementary, middle, or high school right now, Houston will build one of the greatest innovation districts in the world right here in our backyard. It is less than half a mile from the George R. Brown where we are today. And right now, there is a lot of development that's happening in order to create this massive center for innovation. So this 12 district block is gonna be a tech hub a thought leader, a cultural core, and a global player on the innovation ecosystem. Houston's already known for innovation. We landed humans on the moon. We created the first artificial heart. We drill three miles down and three miles to the left. Although that may not be the most popular technique at the moment, 
it is innovative. And we need to find the next innovation in order to guide this energy transition that's happening right now, to explore how humans can live longer and fuller lives, and then finally, how can we take people not only to the moon, but to Mars and beyond. That's the inspiration of our backyard, and that's what the Innovation District, the ION District's all about. So there's five guided themes in order to create this Innovation District here in Houston. First is creation. That's why I love this space we're in right now. The amount of imagination, storytelling, and creation that is flowing through this hall right now is palpable. You can feel the the creativity just pouring out. Now, Houston's not known for that. We have friends to our west. They say, keep Austin weird. I say, keep Austin. I would think Houston is probably more eccentric, more eclectic, and more innovative and creative than any other city in Texas. We just don't tell our story well enough. So after today, go out and tell your story. Share your story with everybody around you because you matter to this innovation ecosystem in Houston. Dedication. Someone told me that unreasonable repetition is how you build a business and parent kids. Well, it's also how you get your point across. It's through dedication. It's through constant, it's like waves hitting the sand. Just constantly you know, reinforcing the ideas, the mentality, the thoughts of the future. And Rice University, just south of here, uh, on the red line, you can actually hit it via our public transport, is dedicated to this region, so much so that they've created this ION District for all of us. The ION District is not a Rice University campus, it is a campus for innovation. It is a community center for innovation. And connection, like I said, the red line, the, the city, it culminates through three loops, seven different freeways coming together all into one spot. It's almost like a target, and you hit right in the middle, the bullseye, you'll find the Innovation District. It's at the middle, at the core of our city. It's where the old Sears building used to be. So that Sears building was decommissioned back in 2017, and in 2019, we broke ground on the ION. It's a $120 million investment. They reimagined this Sears building to turn it into something great and it's 300,000 square foot innovation hub right here in our backyard. So if you're interested in it, come on by and, and see what you can do with us, Dave. Production. In Houston, we build things. That's what robotic is all about. That's what the battle bots next to us are all about. It's the electrical engineers talking with the mechanical engineers, talking with the software engineers to build physical devices. Now, other cities are known for software only. And software is great, but the new wave of the internet, the third wave of the internet, is all about the physical wave of the internet. Soon, all of our devices, from our clothes to our shoes, to our tables and our chairs, will all be connected to the internet to create a connected, efficient world, right? Who's gonna build all of that? Houston is actually perfectly placed to build that physicalness of the internet. So, very excited to see that production, that job generating, you know, system so that if someone's here and they're an electrical engineer and they want a job at a startup or an innovative company, the ION is there for them. An immersion. Once you get to the ION district, this 12 city block district, it will be street level, connected, friendly, and immersive. You will be able to run into friends, colleagues, just like you do today, but on a daily basis. We have a weekly networking event that we host there called Cup of Joey on every Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 10.30. I hope you all can come by, get a cup of coffee, and connect with our ecosystem because immersion is really how we get people and ideas connected. Here's a nice little map of what I'm talking about. So if you're walking by today and you don't know what the ION is, take a look at the screen and check out where we are today and where the ION is located. So you see downtown, you see the Texas Medical Center, which is the largest medical center in the world. In the middle, we have Midtown. And the old Sears building has already been converted into the ION. And if you're familiar with Manhattan, Manhattan's a three mile stretch of land, or an island, essentially, in New York. We're building our Manhattan right now. 
density is key to innovation. If you don't have the ability to collaborate, you won't have the ability to innovate. And so having Rice University, Texas Medical Center, Ion District, and downtown, we're finding that this will become the last piece to the future of Houston. And we're really looking forward to having you guys all there. And it's at the center of a 15 minute city. Our city's sprawl has actually been one of our biggest challenges. How many drove more than 30 minutes to get here today? Exactly. It's a big ass city. And that does not make for a very easy connection city. So we need to create a 15 minute city so that you can have events like this on the regular. So that you can have connections with people that you meet one day and you see them the next week and you build an honest, true relationship. And so having public transportation, you know, science and research centers, educational institutions, and population at over 350,000 within walking distance, that's how you create density, that's how you create innovation, and that's what the Ion District is really all about. So this neighborhood is, is vibrant, it's exciting. We're just uh, at the epicenter of four amazing neighborhoods from Third Ward to the east, to Montrose to the west, Midtown to the north, and the Museum District to our south. We have cultural institutions. We have everything all in one spot. And that's really why we believe the Ion District has the ability to be the next spot for Houston. David, next on. And if all of these slides, I do want you guys to share them. It will be on iondistrict.com. This is a new idea. It opened up May 9th through the 13th of 2022. We opened officially August, 20, uh, August 21st of 2021, but COVID had different plans for us as it did for the rest of the world. So innovation districts work because of certain principles, creating an anchor in the district with a tech hub, with over 500 tech workers located there every single day, with investors and startups, with corporate innovators, with media, with government and with colleges and universities. So this district offers that all, all in one hub, all together. We have the opportunity to, to change Houston's perception because I believe that's one of our biggest challenges as well. Not only our sprawl, but our perception as a city. We are seen as just a regular old city, not the fourth largest city in the greatest country in the world, but just a regular Texas city. I think we're much more than that, but this district is going to show that to the world. We have to have all the players come to come to the table. And that's from the creatives here at Comic Palooza, the innovators, the, the uh, engineers, the corporate innovation. We just signed a NASA Space Act agreement. This is now publicly official. We just signed a NASA Space Act agreement two days ago with NASA in order to have a center for space innovation inside the ION. Because many people know us as Space City, the gentleman has his Astro Space City shirt on. But are we really Space City? That is a challenge that we have to ask ourselves. Are we the Space City of the future? But this innovation district has planted a flag and believes that Texas will have a flag on the moon in the next 10 years. David? So this development plan, the ION is available, it's open, it's welcoming. Uh, please do come by, ask for Joey. I'll definitely come and uh, introduce you to the, the building, give you a tour. The next three buildings are going up after our parking garage. It's a 10 story, 1500 spot parking garage because we learn and we know in Houston, if you don't have parking, ain't nobody coming. But this, this district is going to have three more buildings in the next five years. And we're gonna see a campus develop in the next 10. So this is a 10 year horizon for this real estate project that is going to change the face of Houston. Walkable, bikeable, transit friendly. People say Houston's hot, but I believe eight months out of the year it is one of the best climates in the country where you can get outside, have fun, connect with others. And this centrally located, bikeable, transit friendly district, I believe Houston's going to see a spur in its public transportation in the next five years. Next to the museums, next to Herman Park, drive time to golf, if any golfers, not today maybe. Next. The Iron Building really is here to accelerate innovation by connecting communities. 
if you walk through this, the halls today of Comic Palooza, you'll see the different types of creatives, different types of comics, and you see how they connect and collaborate, and sometimes they cross over. And those are the most beautiful moments, is when communities work together and they create something new that is a mashup, a remix. And that's what we need more of here in Houston. We are the most diverse city in the country, but we need to connect and collaborate more. A little history on the Sears building. Did any, I asked if people shopped at Sears or knew what it was. So in 1939, the Sears on Main Street was opened. They had an innovation of the time. They had a Sears catalog that you could shop from home. Anything from a house to underwear, you could order on this catalog and it would be shipped to your location. Now, unfortunately, they sunsetted that Sears catalog in 1993. And in 1997, a small company was created called Amazon. If they would have had the forethought to put that catalog on the internet, they would have crushed Amazon before it got started. Now think about the robots that are in the warehouse of Amazon and where Sears is sitting today. Sears is bankrupt and no longer a company. And you know, Sears is now the largest company in the world. That's what this innovation center is trying to warn the rest of Houston is, who's having their Sears moment right now? So the purple is built space for tech and innovation. We have a maker's hub, a, a prototyping lab, located on our lobby floor. So if you're interested in building a prototype, if you're interested in using 3D printers or laser cutters, electronic manufacturing equipment, we host this here in the building. We have it available to all. This is already a paid for building. You walk in and you're able to inquire about how to be a part of the maker's hub. It's called the Ion Prototyping Lab. And then we also have plenty of things to do on a weekly basis when it comes to networking, to events, and, and more. It's backed by Rice University, like I said. Rice is turning out software engineers at an alarming rate. They're turning out graduates uh, at an even higher rate, but it's not big enough in order to tilt the scale of Houston. And so we need to inspire the rest of the population to take action, to innovate in Houston with us. We have companies here from Microsoft, next. We have restaurateurs like David Kodur opening up Limbar inside the building. This will have four institutions, four uh, restaurants uh, that are locally owned and operated. Right now, Common Bond is open, so if you want to come get a cup of coffee, if you want to get a craft beer, we have second draft opening on uh, August 11th. But we are really building a Houston-led innovation center. And young engineers and recent college graduates see Miami, Houston, Philadelphia, not San Francisco, New York, or Seattle as the hot new markets. Also, you can't afford a house in those cities anyways. We are noticing the trends of people that want to live a good quality of life, a good you know, lifestyle. They are moving to Houston to start anew. U-Haul, actually, the number one city for U-Haul uh, transportations from pickups to deliveries is Houston. So we are seeing people move into the city at an alarming rate in a good way, and we're looking for those innovators, those entrepreneurs, those tech uh, enthusiasts. Chevron has been in the building since it began, and Chevron has a whole entire tower right here in downtown. Why did they need to be right next to, uh, right inside the innovation district, inside the ION? It's because they wanted to be ringside. They wanted to be you know, face to face with the entrepreneurs, the investors, the innovators, the tech enthusiasts, like they are here today, you know, this is where the real talent lies. I know that personally, and that's why I'm excited about Robotica, that's why I'm excited about Comic Palooza, is because tech talent doesn't just happen, it has to be inspired. Inspiring innovation really is the key to Houston's future. And so the last thing on this district, this is our newest tenant, uh, Greentown Labs. In Houston, we're known as the energy capital of the world, but Really, we have to think differently. Climate change is real, it is happening, and we have to provide an energy transition that happens from Houston. So Greentown Labs has been uh, here in the Ion District for now a year, and they are the largest clean climate tech accelerator program in the country. Over 70 climate tech companies are being uh, incubated at Greentown Labs right now. Greentown Labs is probably one of the most exciting places to be in Houston to see innovators and entrepreneurs from the ground floor working 
to change the world and to save the world. So Greentown Labs, the ION, and the ION District really are coming together to make this a better neighborhood, city, and region. This is the rendering that I started uh, the presentation with, and I asked you a question at the beginning. You know, where will you be in 2036 on Texas's 200th birthday? You know, we're known as a cowboy state and a cowboy city, but what if by 2036, we're known as the space cowboy city, taking people to the moon, to Mars and beyond? What if we're known as the most innovative city in the world? What if we're known as, you know, the place to come to live your best life to share with your friends, to collaborate, and to create. That's the vision of the ION District, that's the vision of the ION, and that's the vision of what we're trying to do here today. Innovation is the act of introducing something new. More than new, we aspire to be better. Thank you guys so much. My name is Joey Sanchez. Have a great day. Appreciate you.